One. Mr. Davis is building a house. What is he building? Two. What must a passenger have to use this airline? Three. I asked eight people to come to the meeting, but Helen couldn't come. How many people came to the meeting? Four. The woman made toast for breakfast. What did she use? Five. Jackson cooks all our meals for us. What does he do? Six. The students enjoy ice cream. Seven. Frank went to the station to catch the 8:30 express to Trenton. Eight. The instructor will bring up a new subject in class today. Nine. School starts at 0900, and Marie is always on time. Ten. There's a discount on this TV. Eleven. Bob needs to do his laundry. Twelve. John had a big dinner a few minutes ago. Is he hungry now? Thirteen. Is this seat taken? Fourteen. What courses are you taking this year? Fifteen. Why do people talk? Sixteen. Bill cannot run as fast as Bob. Why doesn't Bill run as fast as Bob? Seventeen. Is that Mary's voice? Eighteen. Jerry asked, "Whose pen is this? What did he want to know?" Nineteen. Mr. Leslie's job is to regulate the machines. What does Mr. Leslie do? Twenty. The student went to the beach and got a severe burn. What caused the burn? Twenty-one. Jill bought a new battery for her car. What was the battery for? Twenty-two. If a man says that perhaps he will come, what does he mean? Twenty-three. Why couldn't the pilot see the runway? Twenty-four. John works at a cleaner's. What does he do there? Twenty-five. Ernie arrived just in time for the meeting. When did he arrive? Twenty-six. He often studies his lesson. Twenty-seven. Tom never seems to have enough money. On the other hand, William always has enough. Twenty-eight. I go to school because it is compulsory. Twenty-nine. How can I get to the hospital? Thirty. The barber said to Henry, "You're next." What did he mean? Thirty-one. Jane lives in Evanston, which is a suburb of Chicago. Where does Jane live? Thirty-two. Which is a fluid? Thirty-three. There are many defects in this mechanism. What is the condition of this mechanism? Thirty-four. Tom picked out a hat. What did he do? Thirty-five. My trousers are completely worn out. What should I do with them? Thirty-six. The student speaks English fluently. Thirty-seven. Miss Howell sets a good example. Thirty-eight. I watched the men build a race car. Thirty-nine. He distributed the newspapers to the students. Forty. She slipped on the sidewalk. Forty-one. Peter folded the paper carefully. Forty-two. There was an explosion at the refinery. Forty-three. I asked the captain for some time off, but I was turned down. Forty-four. The man was working under the car. Where was he? Forty-five. Mr. Thomas is in the hospital. He's pretty bad off. Forty-six. Do you care about your job? Forty-seven. Mr. Kirk has a great deal of influence at this school. What can Mr. Kirk do? Forty-eight. Mr. Smith said that this is the longest heat wave he can remember. What did he mean by heat wave? Forty-nine. Mr. Samuels asked what stage our project was in. What did he want to know?
50. David forgot his lunch, so I gave him half of mine. 51. The weather is fair. 52. The driver stepped on the gas. 53. The student said, Do you have any black ties for sale? The clerk said, I'm sorry, we just sold our last one. 54. The euphoria created by the political convention didn't last long. 55. Robert concealed the package. 56. Dr. Frank is a physicist from Germany. 57. How's Paul? They're taking his temperature now. What do they want to find out? 58. Let's buy a camera for Bill. Good idea. He likes to take pictures. What else will Bill need? 59. Can your son drive the car? No, the law forbids him to do so before he is 16. What keeps the woman's son from driving the car? 60. Where are we going on our vacation? I don't know. It's up to you. What did he tell her? 61. What did you do yesterday? I listened to the game. What did the man do? 62. Did you study your lessons last night? Yes, I studied them thoroughly. What did the woman say? 63. How do you like office work? I hate it. I'd rather be outside. Where would the man like to work? 64. Miss Jenkins, will you be able to take on a new job this week? Yes, sir. Good. I'd like you to collaborate with Mr. Cross on the Orwell contract. 65. Bob, do you know Susie very well? Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a new roommate. Do you think she and I could get along? I don't know. Susie really has a short fuse. Sixty-six. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like a tire. You'd better pull over.